going on guys? In today's video, I wanted to just simply talk to you guys about, uh, you know, the dilemma uh, that some of us physical media collectors uh, go through, and that is double dipping, you know, to double dip or not to double dip. Um, and, you know, it, if you do double dip, uh, you know, that's okay, um, because it's your damn money. So long story short, uh, it's your damn money. You can do whatever the hell you want. Thanks for stopping by. You're still here? Thanks for staying along. Um, Who's yeah. contact info are you ah. Damn, watch me talking. Um, yeah, so double dipping. It's, it can be a pain in the ass, um, and it's it's something that us collectors go through, um, and it's part of that um, FOMO um, for us. At least that's what I think, um, obviously, because the reason why we double dip on some of these uh, movies is because, you know, different packaging, uh, the movie got upgraded, uh, examples are um there was a, an american release for talk to me um which was a great 4k um and uh it actually had dolby atmos and this release was done by umbrella entertainment um and this 4k is just wonderful as well um and it is it has a limited edition uh, steelbook and it's just a really cool unique limited edition so i had to have it because it was definitely one of my favorite movies from last year um my favorite movie of all time is Candyman. i've said it a bazillion times um i got the scream factory 4k but then i also have arrows 4k because it's a beautiful and haunting uh, release by by Arrow, and and so I had to get it. Um, there's also like buyer's remorse. Um, an example is fucking Disney. Uh, Disney released Avatar, um, you know, one and two, and if you look on the bottom, it says the ultimate collector's edition, uh, which we all know that that's a fucking lie uh, because just a few months later, they released an even better collector's edition, um, which I was very reluctant to get. But, uh, you know, my boy uh, and good friend uh, Javier on Twitter, you know, just mentioned multiple times how wonderful this release was. And he is right and and it is gorgeous um beautiful releases by disney um but the buyer's remorse why didn't they put these out when they released these same editions um you know that's that's part of another discussion too that you know can be brought up um is that how uh, boutique or how labels uh, can just take advantage of collectors like myself? Uh, because obviously, I fucking double dip. Um, I double dip all the time. Uh, if it's if it's a movie that I really love, um, then and if it comes out with a badass release, I'm gonna buy it. American Psycho, one of my favorite movies of all time. I bought the standard edition. Then got the steel uh, edition from Lionsgate. Uh, one movie that I got was uh, Logan. I bought the standard edition. I bought this movie when I first started collecting, uh, at least in my early days. And I didn't know that there was a noir, uh, a black and white version of the film. And so I double dipped and got it. And there's no regrets uh, at all for buying um this movie or any movies really you know m most of the time um uh, other reasons why i double dipped is 
um, you know, uh, you know, I, I bought the standard edition of the Matrix, and I showed it off in my earlier videos of my box sets. Um, but I had to get the 4K steel books uh, that were exclusive in the UK. Uh, I love this box set; very, very cool, um, and I love. Um, I love the franchise. I mean, the first movie is one of the greatest movies of all time. The others, uh, obviously, is debatable. Um, but it, it's just just something that it can just be talked about within our community because one of the reasons why I started this channel is to connect with other people who are crazy enough or, or who are crazy collectors like myself. I think that's part of the reason why, you know, we go on YouTube or we start a channel is to connect with other people, is to simply have conversations um, like this. And uh, because the reality is, if, you know, you're watching this video, you you probably double dipped on a movie and you can relate to... Um, you know, to myself or to other content creators, Ken from Mid-Level Media just posted a video yesterday about um, Umbrella uh, Entertainment's release of The Raid. They have a phenomenal limited edition release, uh, and it looks great. I'll put the picture up here, um, but he brought it up that uh, Sony literally just released um, a 4K steel book, which is a great steel book, a great transfer, Dolby Atmos, must buy, uh, in my opinion. And then, of course, Umbrella just had their release. So there's the case of, you know, double dipping uh, and that whole dilemma of what us physical media collectors uh, go through. Are you know, um, it, it, like I said, I, I just think it's a great topic to uh, to discuss with one another, and I would really love to hear from you guys. Of, do you double dip, or why don't you double dip? Um, if you don't double dip, then that's awesome, and if you do, then that's awesome too. Because, as I said earlier in the beginning of the video. It's your damn money. You can do whatever the hell you want and whatever makes you happy. Um, for me, I double dip because I want the better editions of movies that I love. Um, I literally just rebought um, Mayhem and Train to Busan. I already had the standard editions of those movies, but I love the... Um, the steelbook designs and I love those movies so I wanted just simply uh, better uh, aesthetics um, for those movies uh, again that's just me I don't 99% of the time I have no regret of double dipping um, and I know that there's plenty of others that choose not to double dip which is probably the smart uh, way of going it because you already have the damn movie and it's most likely the same fucking version just redesigned on a different cover or a, a, the fancier release. I would like to hear from you about, you know, if you double dipped or the reasons why you don't or simply having a discussion about how these labels kind of take advantage of us collectors. Um, and if we're being honest, at least if I'm being honest with you guys, um, obviously it's, it can fucking suck sometimes, but you know, I'm, I'm really glad, uh, that these, uh, different labels, uh, put out, uh, different releases and everything else like that, because, um, some of the cases, or maybe majority of the cases, it's a better release than the original release that uh, was out. And so, you know, uh, it, 
you don't have to double dip, right? And, and so, yeah. Yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. And I love to hear your guys' uh, feedback down in the comments section. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.